Hello. I was going to stop there and cough, but I thought I'm going to power through this because everyone will think I've got the Rona, <laughs> a term that I really hate. <clears throat> what, the Rona? Calling it Rona to shorten it. Don't like it. All right. Um, welcome to Usual Paddy. I'm here with Martin. Hello. And I'm here with Jamie. Yo. And we're sat outside social distancing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, of course. Wow. Well, Paddy and outside for a change, so you can hear all the, the local wildlife. Yeah, that's a good point. This whole thing, this is going to be seagull it's noises. Be, punctuated by it's bollocks. going to be gull noises, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, gull noises. It's, they in gull the noises. Sea. Yes. Because right. if they didn't live near the sea, there will be bagels because they'd live in bays. Well, they kind of do live in bays. <laughs> oh, they right, don't they live in the sea. Right, well, you don't live in a house. <laughs> I, li- I like that grand gesture that's really going to work over an audio medium. I'm pointing at a house. Anyway. Uh, just a house, not yours, a just house. a house. Just some random house. That was yeah, that's like the, the that's brilliantly that was random that. start to one of these. Uh, so th- this is not going to be a... A nautical theme, despite all the the birds that you can hear, um, the seagulls. You mean? It's just, <laughs> it's just better. It's just a nice evening to be sat outside. It is. I agree. Indeed. With good company who couldn't make it, so you two are here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew that was coming. So we've got the um, the uh, not Christian slate has broken arrow out again with mm, a series of turn. with a series of topics and things. To talk about. So, who wants to spin it first? Let's jump straight in there. I'll go for it. Oh, he's closest, isn't he? Yeah, I suppose. There you go, Jamie. Thank you very spin much. Spin the wheel. Okie dokie. What you playing? Okay. So, what are you? What have you been playing lately? With himself. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, obviously weekly, you and I play Sea of Thieves mm-hmm. on the regular. Um, on the reg. Just recently, Sharon's got Game Pass on Xbox. So I've been trying all the new games that come with that. But the one I've been playing most at the minute is Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> yeah, Final Which, Fantasy stops at 7. Well, when... No, it didn't, it didn't even 10. start with me. Uh, 10 was amazing. What was 1 like? <laughs> I've not actually played 1, funnily enough. <laughs> but um, I never... Yeah, what you said, Bird. <laughs> I never intended to buy Final Fantasy XV because the whole... The battle system went rubbish after Seven. the 10th. No, after the 10th. They, they, get, they got rid of the battle screen and made it um, just hack and slash like a Zelda game. Mm. It happened, Martin knows what I'm talking it about. It happened okay. earlier than that, if you want to be technical. Mm, 12 was the first. Nope. What was the first then? The... Um, Oh, because the Advent Children, the one in um, Advent Children is a film. No, what what's the one on the PSP? Um, I don't know. I don't. It's uh, like the Final Fantasy VII prequel. Oh, Crisis Core. Crisis Core. That's the one I'm. Twelve thinking. came out before that. Are we gonna have to sort of like? Twelve was a PS2 game. It was before the PSP. Uh, fair enough. But <laughs> anyway, back to my point. Chronologically, <laughs> it happened earlier. And yeah, it's set in a more modern sort of world rather than futuristic like the, the main characters have a car a convertible which is very strange for final fantasy right and i i thought well, i'm not going to pay money for that but then it was out on you're Game not going to pay money for so, some people driving around in a car <laughs> it just didn't no. it just didn't appeal to me but it was on game pass so i thought i'll download it and give it a go then at least i can i can say i've tried it before i knocked it and now i'm eating my words because i'm really loving it i'm enjoying is it, it not like the the what were you expecting? Just because it's had, very yeah, different from what I was expecting. It had a car in it, you were like not into it. Looks well, no, like I didn't. Forza. No, the main hang-up for me was the battle system. Uh, but it's, um, I think it's because I started playing the Kingdom Hearts series. I got used to the whole final um, sort of RPG element, but with hack and slash rather than going to a battle screen. Hack and slash. Mm. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Hack and slash Mickey Mouse. There's not two things you'd put in a sentence normally, is it? <laughs> yeah, but neither is Mickey Mouse and Cloud Strife, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, Martin, what are you playing with, apart from oneself? 
new. Uh, I started playing. Uh, I got a little retro handheld emulator thingy, which plays just basically anything up to and before the PS One. So it's got like snares, snares, Mega Drive, you know, nice. all, all, all the old school stuff. And I started playing Pokemon Crystal just yeah. because I thought, yeah, you know, it's, it's something something a bit different. And I started playing Final Fantasy VII again a little while back. Oh, what mm. is it with you two? I don't know. It's just it's it's something to sort of like, you know, tie it in, isn't it? You know, it's like we played the same franchise. Mm. <laughs> but no, I've been I've been, I've been playing with that a lot recently because it is. I mean, if you're um, if you have a memory card big enough and you're, you're clever enough, it's, you can. It's possible to sort of like fit like every single game ever made ever for the Mega Drive in any language or or, or basically any of the old systems because the, the game files were so small and now you get like, I've got like a 64 gig card in there and if I'm ever watching like one of the retro game channels it's kind of like oh this was such a good game and I'm like I've got that um, you... oh, I'm sorry I've, I've no just, go on just going to say for any American listeners when he says the Sega Mega Drive it means the Sega Genesis Right, there's there's two types of people in the world: people who call it the Mega Drive and people who are wrong. Oh, I agree with you, but in America, it's just called the Genesis. It, they ne- they never called it the Mega Drive. Yes, I know, but it's just. I like America. I want to move to America, but they can piss off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to move to America, and all the Americans can piss off. Yeah, so you'll be the only person. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get off the aeroplane and say, "Colour's got a U in it. Go f- yourself." <laughs> and then just yeah, you're right there. It does. Well, it does have a U in it. Yeah. So does flavour. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. And we can we know what a philosopher is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and God. it is most definitely not a sorcerer. Oh, that's, no. that's a brilliant thing is you'd have to be an American to get that reference, but they probably wouldn't. <laughs> 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 So good luck moving there. <laughs> yeah, we just turn it turn with a, into American with a warm battery. welcome, <laughs> with open arms. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Do you know I did on on a, on the American theme and and stuff that I've I've been well I wasn't playing I was watching a video I saw a video of a dude who owns a company that makes rockets and stuff like that for space and all that sort it of thing. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but he makes rockets and he he was like the the coolest person I've ever seen because not only is he attending the launching of like a rocket that he essentially designed and made, but he had a hard hat that was in the shape of a Stetson. It's like the full thing of like aviators and everything. I was like, oh, man. that that is like one of the most American things I've ever seen. And I had like proper. Sort did of he like did he have a cyber truck? Oh, I want one of them. Oh God, <laughs> you would. Do you are you familiar with the Hacksmith Channel? No. no. Check it out. Basically, he built a like a half scale cyber truck, and that because they've they've got a company out of Lego. No, no, they just like welded it together and everything. They built it and just like ground up built this whole thing. And the best thing is, he said the the amount of money they spent on making this half scale cyber truck actually cost more than buying the base model cyber truck to begin with. Bloody hell! <laughs> That's unreal. But he's brilliant. He's also making a full sale. You know, um, on Alien, the power loader. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're making one of them. They've, I want one. they've got they've got two of the arms so far. I think they're working on like the leg leg system next. Is that where um, she says she can drive one and yeah, gets all up and it and like, where do you want it? And he's like, uh, Bay 12, please. Yeah, do you know what? I've always thought that scene's ridiculous. That's like the equivalent of a dude going into a warehouse and saying, it's like, I can drive one of these and just like doing a donut and a forklift or something like that. It's like, ha oh, ha ha, look at me. They'll be like, piss off, you unsafe prick. <laughs> We've all done it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've what, what been we playing. Yeah, yeah, back to that one. Um, I don't know. If, uh, between our games of Sea of Thieves, I've I've started playing Fallout Four again, mod free, so it keeps like freezing in, <laughs> in places, which is super annoying. Um, mm. And I have played a bit of Rocket League. Oh, I've just got that. Have you? Yeah. Oh, it's well fun. It is, isn't it? I Considering I don't even league. like football, I really yeah, enjoy it's it. It's car football, and that's the best kind of football. Well, now I know you've got it, we're going to have to have a game or two yeah. at some point. And 
There was some, oh, uh, I started playing this new one that I got from Game Pass. It's is it uh, the Long Night? Can't say I've heard of that one. Or the Long Dark? Mm. Might be the Long Dark. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> you don't want to Google that. No, it's it's some Canadian game. It, like it all kind of looks like a a good painting kind of thing when you're playing it. But mm. like uh, you're playing crashes in the wilderness, and you'll have to like kind of survive and find. Uh, the passenger that was in the plane with you, but then like uh, if you get too cold, you die. Uh, you can bleed out. You can get attacks, and you've got to find resources and things like that. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's hard. This first night is hard anyway. Um, okay, so that's where I've been playing. Uh, Martin, Woo-hoo! don't rub the letters off. I'm not going to rub anything off. Not off. <coughs> Oh, it's a it's a new story. Ah, that's because so, I can't quite read your writing. There. That's that's because it's a chunky pen. So that's oh. landed on Mars attacks. Bird's eye. Oh no! Oh yeah, it's Mars attacks. Mars yeah, sorry. Attacks. So this is a story that the uh, the Mars Insight lander. You'll probably know about that. Not aware of it. Um, the on it there's um. There's the little robot probe which goes out, mm. and uh, it's designed to drill into the Earth to get through the the outer layer to see, like I suppose what's going on beneath it. Um, but it kind of like the soil kind of like congealed up, and uh, the probe got stuck. Mm. So to free it, they got the arm from the insight and just hit it. Until it started working again, <laughs> and I just read that. Out. That's great. They just booted it from from Earth, give it a good kick in to get it working again. <laughs> like when an old TV would start doing static, you'd whack it on top yeah, to get yeah, it working. You'd smack it, and it, somehow it started working, and it worked. Yeah. It worked. And I just thought that's really amusing, and I thought I'd share it with the world. Yeah, all like the yeah. highest level technology humanity's got. It's like just hit it, hit it with like the shovel that the that the main mm. probe has, and thwack it hit, hit it till it works is basically the precursor to have you tried turning it off and on again isn't it yeah but you don't want to do that in nasa because if you if you turn it off and it doesn't turn back on then, then you've got it. like millions of pounds worth of equipment well yeah sat on mars doing bugger all <laughs> waiting for mount damon to come along and <laughs> oh yeah planting his potatoes and he comes yeah. across a probe and go oh i need that shovel yeah. <laughs> oh god but yeah i thought that was amusing yeah, I, I like that. I like, yeah. Let's like say I like that the, the sort of the, turn to violence, the low tech to solve an issue. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> just hit it and it'll work. I just give it a kick in. You imagine yeah. the, the briefing. Like, oh, <laughs> boss, this doesn't work. Oh, it's it. Yeah. <laughs> just give it a good kick. Hey, it works. Yeah, there you go. I'm chair engineering. Mm-hmm. Okay, so very I'll, good. Uh, I will spin it. Oh, it's a Martin thing. The is it? <laughs> yes, you don't want it to be because you, you didn't really think of anything. Well, no, so I'm... Be- you better get thinking. I'm just being pedantic because the, the, the peak of the thing's slightly... All right, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What's the Martin thing? It's Your own topic. You... Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is my, bring a thing. My, my first world problem thing yeah. that I've got. Uh, anything. Any, well, within reason. Oh, I thought the um, first world problem thing was a different section. It's a different section. Are we going to be... Any, is, no, uh, that, that'll be another time. Oh, okay. All right, all right. People who call it red sauce, it's fecking tomato ketchup. Ah, oh, right, yeah. What if? It's just... It's, it's like, oh, look at me. I'm going to drink this brown liquid. It's a fucking beer, you dick. Anyway, no, that, that, it really, really pisses me off people who call it they're the same kind of people who get annoyed when you butter a piece of bread and then you put the butter the excess butter back and go, oh no you can't it's got crumbs in it it's like it's all gonna come out looking the same piss off you daft twat <laughs> you get that with Tulsa don't you but it, it just you but know what, it, what if the red sauce isn't actually tomato sauce then you call it what it is like yeah, the well, red sauce you get from an Indian is mango chutney yeah or the cranberry sauce. It has a name. Or chilli. Now, the only thing that is acceptably named by the colour of the sauce is brown sauce, because that is the name of the sauce. Ah, there's HP sauce. 
Well, yeah, but HP is a brand. Yeah, that's a brand name. Now, now that someone who calls it brown sauce, someone who calls it HP, that doesn't particularly bother me because that's like people who call it Hoover or people who go vacuuming. Vacuum, yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> that, that, that's like that. But people go red sauce. It's kind of like, oh, I'm going to go walk out on the flat path or, you know, <laughs> or go up the bumpy you won't stairs. Find one in or shout at those seagulls. Yeah, that's it. But it's annoying, isn't how it? Annoying... Turn your microphone off more. That's no, because I'm on your side. How, how annoyed you get at that, hmm. and that is, is, is how annoyed I get at people who call it red sauce. That's the red point sauce. I was making. I mean, next time someone calls it red sauce, I'm just going to give them Tabasco or something like that <laughs> and just, just pour it on. Isn't that more of like a mm. an orange sauce? A burnt orange sauce? No, no, but it's kind of a reddy colour. But you see, this is this is it. You need you need to be more... You need is be... there an actual brand just called red sauce? I've not come across it. Mm. I'm time, for a, time for a, a search engine. <laughs> yeah. Red. While the nice. listeners get serenaded by the gulls. That's it. Are we all going to avoid the fact that Jamie's got one of them things that you have on Christmas napkins in his beard? <laughs> a napkin ring? <laughs> yeah. He has. He's got like a napkin ring in his beard. It's a beard ring, you uncultured swine. It's a napkin ring. That's why. Like, it's not a na- that's like napkin. Napkin what... rings are nowhere near that skinny. It would have been if you were a borrower. <laughs> Am I a borrower? Well, oh, I can't say that's too soon. He died, didn't he? He did. Yeah. yeah, don't don't be disrespecting him. Everyone was like, oh, it's the dude who was in the thing. I was like, no, he was in Borrowers first. No, no see, I'm like, no, he was Ash from Alien. And technically, yeah, he was Ash from Alien first, before the Borrowers. Before the Borrowers? Yeah. Yes. The Borrowers was in the early 90s. Alien was like 1979. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd seen the Borrowers first, therefore that counts as first. Oh, good God, I remember that series. I had like the full VHS. Brilliant. I don't remember a series, I just remember the Borrowers film. Oh, no, see, I never watched that. With, um, oh, God, John what's his Goodman. name? John Goodman, that's it. No, no. no it's it, like the full American. The Borrowers though, series, no. that, that was where it was at. Yeah, see, I only knew about the film until he mentioned about the series. It was like tiny little people live under the four He knows what borrowers are. I know stuff. what the borrowers are. Like I said, I've seen the film. I know, but that's borrow. not like the proper they film, don't steal is it? it? They borrow it. Or is it like, I'm going to borrow this beard? You want me to piss in the bottle and give it back later? <laughs> I want the bottle back. You don't want the beer back. It's a bit late for that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why now? Because <laughs> they just wanted to get their two cents in. Yeah, they're well, like, we saw the borrowers before aliens as well. I'll stick a microphone on the roof then. then. Um, <laughs> so, back to red sauce. Yeah, it's, it just really, really irritates me. People don't call it red sauce. Yeah, it's just it's that and people who don't eat crust looking at you two as well. I uh, eat crust. I, no, oh, pizza crust! No, no, no. Talk about pizza. But what's the point in having it? It's it's like it's like oh, I'm going I'm going to drink I'm going to drink this whiskey. I'm just I'm just going to eat the glass and leave the liquid. It's like what? Now that's a challenge. That's completely <laughs> a wrong analogy. But it's that's See, it's, right. Here's my two cents on that. Right, they do stuff crust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now that is like the business equivalent. Of your parents smearing butter on the crust to try and make you eat your sandwiches. <laughs> it works. Well, I know, but that, it's just... It's pe- I'm not filling up on crust when there's cheese elsewhere. Yes, well, you, thank you, you. You would eat the whole, the whole thing. Cheese, red sauce, all the toppings. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's not ketchup, is it, the red sauce? It's, um, but uh, it's tomato-based. Yes, it is. But it's, it's an unidentified ketchup. red goo. Is that trademarked by Heinz? No, because you can get any brand of tomato ketchup. Mm. So, hang on, what's... Um, I think this is an American term, because I've never seen it over here, but what's the difference between ketchup and catsup? What is catsup? Probably uh, something that sounds a lot like ketchup to make people buy it. Mm. It's like I've, a wish product, I've but for food. I've never heard of that. Haven't you? No. Never heard of cats up. Is this kind of like the whole Vegemite versus Marmite thing or something like that? Potentially. We don't know. We're not American. Mm. <laughs> when you go there and get warmly welcomed with your views. <laughs> and then yeah. tell them um, all to piss off. All those extra letters that I've brought with me. So <laughs> yeah. Find a place and then words uh, for them to live. He's speaking in tongues. Uh, uh, so. 
You just reminded me of oh, here we go. a brilliant, brilliant video that someone had put on Facebook. And it was a, oh, it was like, oh, what's that weird dance track thingy, the one, and I don't know, I know, I know, anyway, this weird old school dance um, song. Yes, because we're all fluent in dance music. <laughs> you, you'd, you'd know if you heard it, and then it's got all these people from like all these like evangelical, like, Ch- big church things in America. You know, they do the weird thing where they start sort of like spazzing out and dancing around like they're having some big religious experience. They basically <laughs> put all this, all, all this dance music over the top of that, just watching all these people. So, oh boy, it was really fun. It's kind of like in um, where they had, oh, what's that one with the um, weird Chinese dudes doing the gambling on the television? And that, where it's like, oh, what are the goths dancing to? It's like the goths dancing in to see what music they're dancing to. Banzai? Banzai, there oh, you go. Oh, God. That's a blast from the past. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit. Okay. Yeah, enough, of you, enough of you. <laughs> go on, Jamie. Oh, are you not spinning it? I spun it. I did I did that. Oh, yeah. This is. Even though it landed on a thing that was a me thing. Hammer time. Hammer time. Oh, this is another story. Martin... I picked this one just for you. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, I found this story and I thought, well, here's something. Wow, a notebook. Now, that's old school. It is. I think it's really old, this as well. Um, right. Dozens of people were injured. Um, Good start. In Mexico, <gasps> because there's an annual festival that takes place. <laughs> <laughs> It's the annual Exploding Hammer Festival. (laughs) (laughs) What? It takes place in February, and it involves a a mix of sulfur and chlorite, kind of like bound together, Mm -hmm. put on the end of a sledgehammer, and smacked on the floor till it explodes. (laughs) Uh, 6,000 people attended and 43 people were injured. Now, Any deaths? Did, did no I, deaths. Have I, have, I, have I told the story on Paddy about the hammer incident before? This is why I thought of you. Yeah. Uh, we may have, but say it again. Right, say well, I, did, I don't recall. In, in, a, in a previous job that I used to have, we used to supply um, things like, so like air guns and stuff like that. So you'd have, you'd have these little targets that you'd put. It's like a little disc... And when you shoot it, it's I've got like a little impact sensitive sort of powder on it. It makes a little puff of smoke and it's all all brilliant. You get a bit of a flash and ooh, isn't that nice? And I thought, what would happen if I put one on the floor and threw a stone at it? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. What would happen if I threw a brick at it? Absolutely nothing. What would happen if I hit it with a hammer that just so happens to be perfectly sized to fit inside the cup that's held in? <clears throat> It explodes. All you can see is white. You go deaf for 20 minutes and you feel shrapnel bounce off your leg. Wow. <laughs> so I have said, if it ever happens again, I'm wearing eye protection. So, yeah. <laughs> no, not, not leg protection or anything. <laughs> and the greatest thing is, you can't complain that I'm daft because the Mexicans have got a whole festival on it. Now, did you hit that- this thing in February? Because then you were practically participating. <laughs> Was it? If I, no, it won't have been. No, it'll have. No. no. I'd, so yeah, I'd left by that point. Uh, again, this February, an yeah. interesting news story that as soon as I saw it, I go, "Well, I'm going to have to like so put maybe, this on the wheel." So maybe I'm. If I mind you, I suppose if I want to get into America, I'm going to have to go through Mexico anyway. So not necessarily, but you could go. Yeah, I might as well. So the the Hammer Festival. That's it. We should the, all, sorry, the exploding Hammer Festival. We should all do that. That sounds like a truly brilliant place to go. Just hitting explosives of a hammer on just. No, the, the explosives are kind of taped to the hammer. Yeah, yeah. And you're just smacking the, there's it like on a, the floor. There's, there's an impact with a hammer. You know, the hammer sets off the explosive. That in itself is just, that's all I need to know. <laughs> all right, so. I like that. I next improve. year, there'll be 6,001 people participating in the event. <laughs> Probably be a yeah. lot more injury. It's just like a, uh, when it explodes, it kind of like throws people back, obviously, depending on the mix and how it is, oh, so it's like it's a thing. Properly, proper explosions. Well, there's not like fire. And you're not. You're not, not like you're a not, grenade. You're not briefly deafened. You just. I sort of, assume you would be. If if a lot of people were protection. injured. No, I, I don't think that. I didn't. No. no, I just sort of put my hand over. Yeah, my but you're an idiot. 
Yeah, but if I turn should, should I have sugar the pill? There? Yeah, but if I turned around to you when all this lockdown business is over and says you want to go to Mexico as a hammer festival, you would go. You're damn right, I would. There we go. Then. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, looks like we're all off to Mexico. <laughs> Never mind seagulls and that. There's going to be explosions in the background. Spin the wheel. Birds are another story. Other fish fingers are available. Oh, <laughs> this is a, a story about a heron. It won't stand up. A oh, heron. lay it down. Um, yeah, you know, a heron. I saw one of them once. Not on about the shop in town. No, the... The, the actual bird. Yeah. Well, well, it is about a bird heron. Um, Did in, it hit a hammer? A heron in Dublin yeah. um, has been... Is, being quite tame and people are hand feeding it and trying to get like selfies with it and stuff as weird people tend to do um oh, but don't. like the um like the councils and the, and the governors or, or whatever the powers to be said that people should stop feeding the heron as it could stab them in the eye wow that's very specific <laughs> <laughs> that is very specific it said something about like um i don't know something about when a heron is staring at your eye, it could mistake you for a fish or some weird thing. Um, but yeah, be careful. It could stab you in the eye. Like yeah. the purple shirted <laughs> eye stabber. I, I would have said that is the most ridiculous sort of Irish related thing I've heard recently, but I did hear a story today. That... Did it grow in popularity? Was it Dublin and Dublin? <sighs> <laughs> I need a bell. <laughs> But um, what was it? yeah, no, there's there's a dude who has recently I don't know if he's been sent to jail or sent. Basically, he's been charged with, and I think he was prosecuted for a hate crime because in an angry letter to his ex girlfriend, he calls he called her new boyfriend a leprechaun <laughs> because he because he's from Dublin and basically she called him a little leprechaun. And like, and and he's been like fully taken to court and everything. And I thought that's that's just, and I thought they had senses of humour. Some do, I'm sure. Yeah, it's not that one, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. But no, when you know, coming from a place that thinks herons are out to peck your eyes out, then would you go <coughs> and feed the heron and see if it would peck your eye out? I've just admitted I really want to go to an exploding hammer festival. But I think I can handle a bird that catches fish. <laughs> Oh, sound like fighting dog. What, 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 wouldn't that be sort of like brilliant? It's like you've been to this exploding hammer festival and that, and then you come back and it's kind of like you take him back, you just like bandage on you. What happened? Did it explode? It's like, no, this bird got my eye on the way back. <laughs> Some heron thought my face was a fish and pecked my eye out. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh are you God. the kind of people that would? Try oh, and I'd, catch I'd a it. selfie with Oh, it. damn right, I would. Yeah. Oh, you one of that? You're not one of these that would like. Well, not pucks. not. Maybe Pick not a, a seal out of the sea or something and be like, smile. No, 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 no. But if the heron was there and it was going to let me feed it, you're damn right I'd quick, take a quick snap with it. I wouldn't be like, oh, you stand there, turn your bill that way, then you, you're further there and whatever. No, I'd just be like, here, have some food, click. And then it picks your eye up. Yeah, it'd make a good show. Breaks through your, your glasses force field. Well, I'd look more like a pirate than I could wear an eye patch. You could. You could wear an eye patch. I always said if I lost an eye, I wouldn't get a prosthetic. I'd just wear an eye patch. I, I had a similar thought, not eye-related, but injury-related the other day. And I was talking to the missus, and I said, if I'm ever unfortunate enough to end up needing a wheelchair, I will refuse to use anything that isn't a replica of Davros's chair from Doctor Who. That's awesome. And that just because just it'd be brilliant. Looks like you're just going to be stranded in a lot of places. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat related, back when I lived in uh, Newby, we had a pond in our back garden, and we had to put a net over the top of it because there was a bloody heron that kept trying to yeah. steal our fish. I get a lot of customers that moan about herons that come and steal their koi. Mm. I mean, in essence, as far as the bird's concerned, it's not stealing, is it? It's just seeing food and going for it. But Seafood and eat it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> on, on another tangent, but is related to what Joe just said, I once saw a thing about a dude who'd worked out how to sort of like, not, not sort of mass produce, sort of like, Almost mechanized the way of knocking out fish, and 
<laughs> well, it, ba- basically, punching it. basically, he had to move a load of koi carp from one place to another, and he, they'd worked out you can generally knock out a fish using acupuncture. And that's so generally, if you stab anything, it will probably stop withering yeah. around. But what 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 they'd done is he'd worked out you can you can you can knock out a fish if you if you if they get a little prick at a certain depth at certain places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. If you put your prick in a fish, <laughs> but what what he does is he got this just this bit of wood. He'd drawn an outline of a fish, had these these strategically placed like pins, and he just picked the fish and go onto the thing, just knock it out and throw it in a bucket, and then transport it. What if it, the the woke fish up, was around. bigger than the 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 wooden cutout? Well, I think they were all roughly the same size. No, all these but all like, these fish that he had. All that, these fish go back in a pool, like old in like. A hole. I'm like, oh, like the Red Wedding, <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, uh. Can you imagine that? It's just like a load of fish turning round, and rather than rather than pulling out the chainmail, he's like, I'm a heron, and just start eating them all. Also, it's a heron that goes around acupuncturing all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the pointy beak. Yeah, why not? Dink. Maybe well, that's what he's trying to do when he sees all the Dublin people. He's like, oh, he looks uncomfortable. Let's just knock him out using acupuncture in the eye. <laughs> you know? Well, there you go. Um, How the hell well, did we get onto fish from that? When you were on about stabbing fish and they stopped moving. Yeah. That's <laughs> such a <laughs> of mice and men thing to say. It's like, oh, <sighs> stabbing things makes it stop moving. Well, no, it wasn't no wonder they're a little <laughs> coy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it was a, it was a genuine thing. It's like genuine way of sort of like knocking them out for transport. It's oh. just a really weird thing to do to a fish. I mean, you got to get all of it. First, Acupuncture wanna, on a carp. Yeah. Then you want to stab it. <laughs> Why not? I mean, the the bit that amazes me is that someone before him obviously figured that out. There was just you know, a lot just of someone there just, with just, a lot of time on the hands. stabbing fish. And he's like, oh, that one was like asleep now. <laughs> but <laughs> this fish, <laughs> this fish goes sleep now. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird world we live in. It is. It is indeed. Ah, oh, now this is this is your John Wick. So what gets on your John Wick? This is your first world problems, then. Yes. Uh, so it can be anything like what noise your first world problems. Oh, that was my red sauce thing. I'm going to think of another one now. Well, I've got one while he's thinking. Go on then. Right. <clears throat> a lot of people who know me on the net will know I'm a stickler for grammar and spelling. I'm a bugger for it. But the one, the one that really pees me off. Yeah, actually, you know, it like fit, it, is it these Americans that keep taking like letters out of words? No, no, it's not even that. It just really, really grinds my gears. It's when um, you know how um, would have or could have is abbreviated to would have, you know, apostrophe have. ve. Yeah. Well, people actually write it as would of right it's just such a small thing but it oh, it infuriates me it's like there's no of it's either would have or would have there's no would of do you know what we need to do if we really want him to have some kind of heart attack it's just getting you to... want to like talk into your microphone oh, i do want me to repeat that you can yeah. like move it back if you need to right. if you want to lean stop touching me pink squishy thing <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> um what was i saying no if we really want to wind him up and that we just need to get him to read any Scottish person's Facebook page oh god you know just people who just make a point of typing in their own accent well no, no that doesn't bother no, me because you're purposely yeah, Yorkshire people do that though. yeah because you're purposely typing not, in your not accent not to nearly to the extent that Scottish people do no that, the Scottish thing where they type in the accent doesn't bother me because they're doing that for effect it's not the you know they just can't be bothered to realise that, that there's no such thing as would of it's would of or would have and yeah. could and so on and so on for. It's like I heard someone today who said irregardless. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the thing I'm like, you can just do. In fact, you'll know it was on um, Demo Ranch, was it? Yeah, it was oh, on. Did Matt say it? No, it was oh. on the uh, renovations, like 21 or something like that. You had the builder dude come in and he said irregardless. I'm like, oh, just just shoot him, shoot him in the face. There's another one like that. As well. he, oh. he could do that. Yeah. <laughs> when when people say I could care less, and the expression is I couldn't care less. The fact that you say I could care less means you. I could care. care less than what I currently do. Yeah. I like to be more theatrical. So that makes sense. And... Yeah, but they're, they're trying to say I couldn't care less. Oh, well, I couldn't care less. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Martin, have you have you thought of a 
Something else. What gets on your wick? Other than other than brown sauce. Other than red sauce. Red sauce, <laughs> brown sauce. Yeah, and just brown sauces. sauce is fine. Leave brown sauce out of it. That <sighs> literally says brown sauce. I on know, it. yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, but you, you, you know what I mean. Um, I'm trying to think of something that isn't overly controversial or political. <laughs> That's a hard one for you. Ooh. Do you want me to go? Yeah, I'll let you go first. No, we know, we right. know what this is going to be. I mean, I've offended you, everyone ever. I mean, really? There's so much that obviously, like, all them little things that really, like, seagulls boil my piss, including your seagulls. <laughs> but no, at the minute, at this, this point in time of lockdowns, quarantines, and all stuff like that, I hate how popular TikTok has become. Oh, God, yeah, I know what you mean. Right, like... Fair enough. It, it's never going to be Vine, but see, Vine completely passed me by. Yeah, yeah, I, I was kind of like late into it. You can still see like good quality humour uh, from like old vines on on Ow. YouTube and stuff. But the, the thing with with TikToks is like if you want to do anything like humorous, great, knock yourself out. But it's it's all it's all the dancing and. I'm not saying that people shouldn't dance, but a lot of them shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, I don't know, I'm no dance expert, but dance is kind of fluid, you know, yeah. it, it, it kind of runs through. But everything on flipping TikTok is like robot dancing, as everyone's trying to copy these, I don't know, they're like copying moves or something, and especially mm-hmm. when there's more in them, and they kind of like jump and then freeze for a minute, then they do an arm thing. And, the job, and it's like everyone's doing the robot, but they're not. Mm. And I was I was out delivering with work, and I was at, stopped at a set of traffic lights. And the, on a bench next to me, there was two young people. They had their phone on a bench, mm. and they were there doing this kind of like dancing, trying to copy like the moves, like they were out of a thriller video. And I hope their video goes viral because you'll just see me driving past really slowly <laughs> up to these satellites, shaking my head, going, for fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> what? Like, just get a grip. What's that um, That meme going around the Sam L. Jackson in the film? Just, just and, you know, he's on the, just doing that real sort of evil look. You'd know if you saw it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Which... I, w- I would look it up, but it really doesn't, again, like I say, it doesn't yeah, work it in an doesn't audio transpire. media. Uh, so, yeah, I. Hey, um, robotic TikTok dancing and like grown adult, grown people, people that should know better, like mimicking speech because they have these things where oh, they speak like clips from, from a, TV yeah, shows and things, and yeah. like they're putting the voice in. Uh. If you do it for humorous effect, fine, but no, it it makes me cringe so hard that my face just wants to go inside out. It's just that much cringe and balls my piss. Mine. I have, have you thought, thought of something? I've yet? thought of one. Brace yourselves. Uh, adverts. <laughs> now, adverts in themselves, I don't mind, but adverts on video sharing <coughs> YouTube platforms. Yes. That you, don't get me started. That you, that, <laughs> that you can't skip. That you can't skip, but also ones that happen right in the middle of a video. Or in the middle of a sentence when they're talking. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll have like a... Um, uh, oh god, it was. It, I don't know if it was slow mo guys. It was one of these sort of slow mo type things, and, and they're either hitting something or something was about to explode. And I, imagine the Hammer Festival. Just as a hammer hits down, it's about to explode. It's like here's an advert it's, for fucking it's testicle cream. How ridiculous! <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's it's just really annoyingly placed, unskippable adverts. And I've always said on principle, if there's an unskippable advert, I will actively avoid that company. See, I do that on. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, mm. or at least oh, I try to. God. But Ad- adverts on Facebook can do one. The one that that annoys me with the YouTube one is, I find it just as annoying as you, but for a different reason. Because yeah. normally, if I'm washing up or I'm in the bath, yeah, and 
if there's an advert and it's like a, a 15 second advert where it just shows the thing and then it's back to the video great but it's always when you've got your hands in the water yes. and then they play the 15 second one and straight after it there's another one that's like, like three, three minutes, minutes so. long yeah. and so it is like, skippable but you've got your hands well, in the washing no, exactly. bowl that, I've got to dry my hands that's even I've worse. got to fumble the screen to try and skip it oh. well, when, when you, they, they'll do the double advert the first one's skippable which would skip past all the adverts, but the second one... And then one, you put your hand back in the yeah, water, and but then the, the second, next one comes The second off. one isn't skippable. Mm. So I've done that before. I was like, oh, I'll just let it run out. It's only a short thing. And you're, like, you're doing the washing up or whatever. And then it's... it's Oh, they can just... The thing uh, is... It's even worse when there's a company comes up that you know you actively use, and then you think, I can't use that company now on principle. So you just... Like, oh, I'm not that bad. Bastards. I'm just like, this is really annoying. My I get really, really petty with some stuff. My yeah. hands are doing other things. I can't be skipping videos right now. Well, <laughs> However, what I have found... Well, you occasionally pause them at the right moment, don't you? if I stream the videos from... So I've just noticed that. What? For yeah. those of us who can't see, mainly everyone in the, sort of the audience, there's just a random multicoloured flashing light on the back wall. And it's just caught my eye. And I found it fascinating. And that's how you catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> that get acupunctured and then yeah. stuck in a, a acupunctured fish. in a polystyrene yeah. box oh, or something. God. Two two of the things with YouTube that annoy me, like you say, when you got your hands in the washing up bowl, if it goes past, I think four videos, it'll stop and say, "Are you still watching?" And you've got your hands in the washing up bowl, like for f- sake. I know, it's. Or when they play when they do two adverts and it's the same advert twice and it's like, and, oh. yeah it's it's really annoying. I'm just going to take a brief break. Just making sure I press the right button. Yes, I do. Yeah, are we actually recording this time? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> right. Who? Sp- I think I spun it. Jamie just spin it. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. This is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That is an actual dog timing. barking somewhere. <laughs> National holiday. Oh, these are always good. Go on, what's today then? Today's actually quite a nice one. Well, A nice one? It depends on kind of which site you use. Uh, it's There's a few things that are today. Oh, okay. oh aye. One of them is National Log Cabin Day. Mm. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like log cabins. They're I fun. would, I would live in a log cabin, like <coughs> a would. real nice big log cabin in the middle of the woods. Well, we went through this with the, the lottery win. There's, we did, didn't we? Yeah, there's yeah. A YouTube channel. There's many YouTube channels. But there's a YouTube channel. Many, <laughs> many. It's called Townsends or something like that, and he does like um, old school, like 1800s era stuff, like cooking and stories. And oh, does it all old school ways, doesn't he? Yeah, and um, they've built. Um, uh, the idea was in, when you're on the frontier, you would go out somewhere, you right. would build a, a temporary log cabin that would last you for like a season or a year or something, and then you would build your, your regular house. So they've just built like a proper log cabin thing, and it's awesome. It just looks really, really freaking cool. Yeah. Where, need I ask you, but where would you have your log cabin? Where in the world? Oh, anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Oh, now that's not actually as simple as, as it would be because you're going to say something like the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, just bang just on random log cabin. Just in bang the on North the North Pole. Pole. No, I'd, I'd I'd either have to have a night like, a, a cabin in like America somewhere. Yeah, because what it's surprise. America, and they had some really good log cabins. Would you live next door to Wranglestar? Oh, I could see you getting really chummy with him. He's 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 sort of he's a dude though, but he's a massive troll as he, well. He's he's weird. He knows how to wind people up, yeah. and it's great. And he's 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 just sort of like Lego hair. He, he, <laughs> like he he said in like one of his videos, he was like, he was like. I swear to God, I swear on God's flat earth that this is right. And the, the comments just like blew up and go, oh my God, is he a flat earther? And everyone's like, no, he's a massive troll. So just don't, don't. Don't bite. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll have you. So no, I'd have it, I'd have it down the road from his house or on my little island off Scotland somewhere. Okay. So, yeah. Jamie, where would, where would your cabin? It's going to sound a bit random, but. I'd you probably... don't have to live there, but you have a cabin there. Probably in a forest in Finland. Ah, see, yeah, Scandinavia's got some good, yeah, good, good stuff going on. 
Yeah. And I bet they could build a banging cabin from mm. Ikea. And it's a, no, it's a good place to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a good place to see the Aurora Borealis, which I'd love to see. Yeah. Yeah, so would it be Finland, Sweden, Norway? See, Norway, that's... That's a good place. You'll get moose there as well. Yeah, the main reason I said Finland was because they have those um, those glass roof igloos there where you can lie if there and If you can watch afford to build a log cabin, you can put a glass roof on it. Yeah, that's true. Somewhere in that region, I'm not sure where. Just you could just build a greenhouse in your garden. Somewhere in the middle of a forest in that region where I'd be able to see all sorts. Mm. I'm going to go Canada. Canada? Nice Canada. choice. Cause, yeah, because you get like... You get wolves, you get bears. If I'm not having to shout at a bear to get out my bin, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> what about that um, woman who who was shouting at a bear and pepper sprayed it and then begged it not to eat a canoe? Have you seen that video? <laughs> no. Oh, it's hilarious. This, this woman, it's, um, she, there's this black bear and she's videoing it from a property and she warns it. She says, if you come close, I'm going to pepper spray See, you. See, black bears are easy because if you shout at them, they get startled and they run. Well, she was shouting at it, but it didn't seem bothered. And she warned it with a proper friendly voice that she was going to pepper spray it. Sure enough, it comes close, so she does. And it reacts by running down to her canoe and starts trashing it. And you could see her, she's getting more <laughs> and more hysterical, begging it to stop trashing her canoe. There was uh, these, like, uh, I don't know if they were, like, hikers or hunters or what, but... Um, they went. They went up a, a ladder into like a like a, a hunting post in a tree yeah. kind of thing, and this black bear followed them up. And there's just the video of this guy like leaning over, shouting, saying, "You get down!" And the bear's like takes a step down, and it like looks back up at them. <laughs> and it's like, "Get down!" And it'll go like down another one. It's like, you leave. Because uh, I remember years ago watching QI back when Stephen Fry was still on there. Uh, and about when it was good. Yeah. 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 So what the the difference between uh, how can you tell the difference between a brown bear and a grizzly bear? And uh, one of them said, "Oh, I, I, if you're being chased, aren't you supposed to climb up a tree and that?" And he says, "Well, that is oh, one God, way." No. He says, "Was well, it?" He says, if, "If it's a brown bear, it'll climb after you. If it's a grizzly bear, it'll just knock the tree down." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> oh God, it's a grizzly bear that um, Leonardo DiCaprio got savaged by in. That the film. Revenant. I the have. Revenant. Have you seen that? No, but I, I know the clip. <laughs> I mean, you got my hopes I up. Haven't. You got my hopes I mean, up if, if you see a, a clip entitled "DiCaprio gets savaged by a bear," then you know it's going to go one of two ways. Either way, it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> not wrong. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, uh, and just to throw off the other national holiday was National Towel Day. Towel. Day. Towel. You should always know where your towel is. I suppose, yeah, the if you had a towel, did they have towels when they had log cabins? They still have log cabins, and I'm but sure know, there's towels in it. But I know, but when log cabins were a thing, you know, before... Well, we they'd probably like... use, like, uh, a chamois leather. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to dry yourself with a chamois leather? Well, yeah, because you, you dry your car with a chamois leather. You don't dry yourself with one, though, do you? No, but it's useful for drying. All right, next time you get out no, the bath. You don't see, like, many mountain men, like, with their massive beards and their bare fur coat with, like... A pink towel. With, like, a <laughs> 100% Egyptian cotton towel <laughs> hanging in his bathroom. <laughs> oh, yes. So, no, I think he'd use a chamois leather. All right, then. All right, you can polish yourself off of a chamois, do that, then. Quite like the smell of a chamois leather. I, I don't make a habit of sniffing them. Don't you? No. You, they've got quite a strong smell. If you go into, like, Halfords or something, yeah. just like, walk down, like, the cleaning aisle and you'll smell it. You can't do that now. You can? No, you can't. Halfords is open. Well, last time I was down there, they had a weird little... Like, they probably thing. saw you and shut. So you go through the door and then they just have this massive, like, glass wall. It's kind of, what do you want? They send them in. Like, they've turned Halfords into Argos. <laughs> Yeah. But Halfords is kind of like Argos for boy races. Yeah, pretty much. Is that, I'd like that spoiler, please. You need to do that with your car. Just put some duct tape on the outside and just hand it's, it He's got, like, door. stickers on. Now, here's an interesting thing. that um, In the not-too-distant future, it could be the Kim Gon Coupe. I'll leave that there for now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> that could be, that'll be a story for another day. When the day comes. Pardon me. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so towels, chamois leathers, Ma- Martin. Um, go on, Martin. Have a spin of the of the wheel. The wheel. <laughs> <laughs> What you watching? What you been watching? Me? Yep. Ooh. Out good? Out bad? Well... Out mediocre? I decided I was going to see if... Why? Someone bottle rolling. Right, right, right. Is that because cheese rolling was like not allowed this year? <laughs> that's, like, that's another sport I want to take part in, just because of the amount of injuries that there are. That, I, I read rolling. something somewhere that... It, because like cheese rolling couldn't happen because of like social distancing so like someone like went and rolled like a baby bell down the hill just (laughs) like a a ceremonial baby bell down the hill oh god so what are you watching um i've been watching films like um i watched gods of egypt the other day god yeah the yeah with scottish gerard butler yeah scottish Scottish egyptian and the um what's his face from game of thrones in it it was just a ridiculous sort of special effects driven popcorn flick that was mildly entertaining. Yeah. It wasn't. Okay. It's never going to win any Oscars. And I also decided to see what all the ah, sort of. But I knew this before, before <laughs> you said it. God, that's painful. But other than that, I decided to watch my way through Rick and Morty, see what the hype was about. Do you get the hype? I don't know. It, it was. Ent- I'm, I'm going to say it was entertaining. I liked it. But. All I really got out of it is that Rick is a massive dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Pretty, pretty much it. I mean, he's, he's entertaining, but he's just just a complete prick. And that, you, know, you mean a complete Rick? Oh, God. See, mine was good. Yeah, but that's the kind of thing Rick would have said. He would have turned it into the fact that it's his own name. Oh, I was well, staying on topic there. I don't watch it, so... It, it, it's, it's entertaining. It's it's just... There's some, like, some really sort of, like, it's kind of the humour where you, you after you've watched it, you thought, have they really just gone there? <laughs> and that, you know, where it's it's just so. So it's of... not full in your face like Family Guy is. It's like a, a subtle edge. <laughs> no, 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 there's nothing subtle about no. that. No, like the episode where they randomly he goes to this weird out of space pawn shop and he's like, I want to buy the robot, and that, and then just for the rest of the episode, you just hear Morty just shagging this robot. And it's just that gratuitous whole More, thing. Morty's a fourteen year old boy, I might add. Yeah. Cool. Who ends well, up not, but... being a father. Yeah, who ends up being a father with this robot. <laughs> okay. Jamie, what are you watching? Um me and the missus have just started watching Star Wars The Clone Wars. Okay. Very good. I mean, I did put off watching it for a long Something time. Something else be- I don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> I we put I put off watching it for a long time because I thought it was just um Basically, uh, a, an animated series for kids to get them into the world of Star Wars. Yeah, but after the kids really need help getting into the world of Star Wars. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, Kieran gets bored with the, some of the films because of like all the talking and all that in them. God but, forbid there's talking. <laughs> yeah, but when I, after a, a Martin had badgered me incessantly about it, I finally decided to sit down and watch it. And after a few episodes, I was like. Well, this is my life now. <laughs> well, there's, there's certain things. A lot of people have complained about the the latest films and how they've they've the been sequel sort of, trilogy. Yeah, they've been yeah. sort of overtaken with certain forced ideologies. And very, I mean, there's, there's, yeah. there's forced. Uh, yeah, indeed, I see I see that. But yeah, I mean, there's, there, there are there are definitely complaints to be made about some of the attitudes behind the producers, but the TV series. Um, the, of of Star Wars, from like the Clone Wars to Rebels to like the Mandalorian, is like the one thing that proves they can still make really really good Star Wars. See, so, yeah, I've not without, watched Rebels or the Mandalorian without Mandalorian. without just pissing all over all the fans and that. So they're you know they, they are still capable of making good Star Wars. See, I want to know, and um, next bit of the conversation is going to be a spoiler alert for anyone who's not that far into Ooh, it yet. Spoiler alert. How. How and when does Ahsoka die? She doesn't. She does. At she some doesn't. point, she does. She doesn't. She is one of the Force Ghosts who encourages Rey in the sequel trilogy. Yeah, but it's a voice of all the things. We don't know if they're actually dead, though, do we? Reading um, the Star Wars... Uh, well, it's called Wookiee. Wookiepedia. Yeah. It does actually mention... and it says It literally says, at the end of her thing, at some point, 
Ahsoka died and became a Force ghost. And it's like, well, can we Do have some details, please? you believe everything you read on how Wikipedia? Did, yeah. How did this happen and all that? When's it after? Read it. I've not read that yet. Because it's not, it's not happened on any of the shows yet. I know that. For well, that's start, the thing. But... As, far, as far as official media and everything goes, she's not dead yet. Yeah, but... She's actually going to appear in The Mandalorian. She's gonna, they're going to have her Maybe five, that's five. where she'll die. It's possible, because that's well, after no, she, she Return won't, of the Jedi. She, she won't because um, the... Oh, my dear, Return of the Jedi, yeah. It's five years after Return of the Jedi, so it's possible that that's where she'll die in The Mandalorian. Not necessarily because she, I said possible. Not she's definitely she's in the end of Rebels. Uh, well, she's in Rebels. That doesn't spoil it, and she doesn't die in Rebels, which again doesn't spoil. No, it. but Rebels happens before. Yeah, I know it happens during the thing, but at the end of 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 the series, he's he's kind of like this is what happened later on, you know. So sort of. how much later on now? Well, that's the thing is she she's definitely she's definitely around and and doing stuff. <clears throat> but by the time of the sequel trilogy, she's dead. I want to know how. Well, we don't know that yet, do we? Mm, well, according to the site, it's well, canon. Know, it's yeah, but is it's it? It's official canon. She's dead. We yeah, but unle- been given, unless given unless why unless yet. it's happened in official media somewhere, and that unless it's happened in like one of the comics or uh, one of the encyclopedias or something like that, you know, it, it's we don't know yet. Okay. Well, I've been watching The Simpsons <laughs> <laughs> on, wow. on Disney Plus. Uh, Is it the, like the new Simpsons? <clears throat> no, uh, I'm I'm oh, currently Simpsons. on season five. I was going to say, isn't the universal thing like season seven's where it stopped or something like that? Well, I I, I don't know. Um, I see what I've been interested in. Um, like whenever I used to watch The Simpsons back when it was like on to, on telly, uh, mm. they'd just be like in random orders, wouldn't they? Mm. And like they'd play like a couple of episodes. Mm. So I'd just be wondering if there's any of like the older series that, that I may seen. have missed yeah. and not realised. But so far, no, there isn't. Mm. I've seen all of them so far. Mm. Um, but I like The Simpsons, so I've kind of like been beasting through them when I've been doing mm. other things other than working or gaming. Mm. Um, always a fan of a of a good Treehouse of Horror. Well, I do like the tree out of yeah, ours. I need to start watching them again. See if I can get. And you've got plenty of time in morning. Yeah. <laughs> you've got know. Disney Plus as well, though, haven't you? Yeah, we do. Well, there you go. Get them. Get them. I know, but I've got so much other crap to watch. What, like? Just loads of stuff. You're not helping with the segment of I've... what you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I started watching Rick and Morty, I was watching Stargate again. The only proper Stargate. The film, was... then. The first one, the 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 TV series. Because that's the only Stargate I've seen. The 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 the, and it's got the SG One series. Nah, I'm not interested. And then I got towards like the very end of like the last season, like three or four episodes from the end, and I just I I don't know. I think I lost all the files somewhere, so I've got to figure out where I was and start that bit again. Cool. And that's 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 good. The other the other series that, that's another thing. I need to watch the other series. He insists that they're good, but they're not because they're not SG one. So it's like you gotta like broaden your horizons. I know, but that's like turning around and saying that just by well, that's a bit too rude. But, um, <laughs> uh, Jesus, but, if it's for you, then uh, no. <laughs> I said that's too rude even for me. Yeah, but no, there's just no. It's just no. <laughs> there's a lot of no's going on. There's, there. there's some stuff that I've seen enough of to realise that it's just so crap. Okay. And that you know the only reason it exists is because the other series was there, and they're just like trying to like live off the success of the other series. Fair, fair. James quietly googling something. He, he's sure trying to find this Wikipedia Star article. Oh, I've, I've already found that. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not denying that it's there. I'm just saying that if it hasn't happened in some of the official media, it's, it doesn't technically count. Yeah, it's, it says um, bio, biographical information. Bi- biographical Burba, information. Burba, burba, burba. Yeah, um, she died either during or prior to 35 years after the Battle of Yavin, which is during the sequel trilogy. Yeah. I'm just so, trying to yeah. find the last entry in her history. Well. Hurry up, because... I'm still listening. I can still hear. I'm still talking. Well, no. Um, we, we've all done our things of what we're watching. Right, so whose turn is it to... It's not mine well, again already, is it? It's uh, yours. It's mine. Uh, go on, then. Let's have a... <laughs> 
Oh, no, it's under the Martin thing. I'm sure I can think of something that's oh, interesting. Oh, God, here we go. Um, can we flip it? Yeah, go Can on. we flip it? <laughs> we'll turn it into a Jamie thing. It's a Jamie thing, is I'll it? S- okay. Spin that around to whatever animal noise that would make. There we go. <laughs> the cow says, not today. <laughs> what? Okay. So my thing, I even have a title, a title for it. It's called Apocopool. Apoco. Is this something Deadpool related? No, it's not. Oh, I, I, knew, I knew that was going to come up. No. It's something apocalypse related. Yes, it is. Is it swimming during the apocalypse? No, it's a, a, a gambling pool is what I mean. A, a, dead a pool, Deadpool. But not right. the Deadpool. Yeah. But, okay, so, so far this year, every month seems to have presented us with a potentially oh, apocalyptic this scenario. Is, where this is going, yeah. Yeah. So, January, we had the potential of World War Three. Yeah. February, we had the Australian wildfires that could have spread. Yeah. Um, March, April, and May, a three-month story arc of a um, oh, killer pandemic. Just just on the, oh, on the topic of Australian and their bushfires, we are all drinking Australian drinks. Yes, we are. Because... Yeah. I've gone all out, and my I ordered the the limited edition pop vinyl uh, that they created for the Australian bushfires, where all the proceeds go to it. Is it like and a it, little melted pool of plastic? No, it's it's a fireman holding a koala. Oh, I thought, oh, oh that's nice. cute, and it, it's been dispatched now, so that can join us one day. That's but cool. Continue. Okay, so... Bushfires. Yeah, Mar- uh, March, April, and May, we had a three-month pandemic arc. Yeah. Um, June, we had mass riots. Yeah. And July, there's two stories that are kind of battling out for supremacy. One of them is the... Oh, yay. <laughs> one of them is the Japanese murder hornet. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The other it's one... It's one of them stories that the mm. press love to sink the stingers into it's yeah it's the asian hornet that's emigrated over to america the other one is a pack of wild boars in italy that found i think it was over two hundred thousand, whatever the italian currency is worth of cocaine god they were some happy pigs because they find things by sniffing (laughs) yeah (laughs) cocaine pigs some here guys so i want to know what are your predictions for August. Now, I'm going to put my chips down and say, for August, I'm predicting the Yellowstone supervolcano. Oh, as, well, as if well, that's we're it, we're all dead, aren't we? Yeah, sorry, whoa, whoa, what? Well, if the Yellowstone goes off, that's like a world-ending event. Yeah, but they're all um, potentially apocalyptic events. That's what I'm, I'm well, guessing. Well, murder hornets aren't going to, like, finish off the humanity, are they? No, but they are the big thing that everything's talked about. But, you know, the, hmm. you get the point I'm they trying are, to make. But, like, that'll win because yeah. the but, press is more interested in bigging up murder hornets than they are about pigs that found some crack. <laughs> but anyway, my, my guess is for August, it's going to be the Yellowstone Super Volcano. I want to know what you two think is going to happen in August. Oh, yeah. Let's have some um, So is it what's going to happen or what is the press mass- going to overhype? What potentially apocalyptic scenario is going to happen? We've had one pretty much every month. What do you reckon is going to happen in August? Aliens. You reckon aliens? Yeah, because uh, it was like right at the beginning of of like lockdowns and things, where didn't the FBI release some some footage that kind of like it? Pardon the the pun this time, but it kind of flew under the radar because uh, the. The, the FBI released some footage of like strange objects in the sky doing UFO y things. But yeah. like it was released by them and it, it took a, a a bit of like news, but hype was too far over. So I think that was like the beginning of the end. Ah. Do you know what? So I think it's aliens, you think it's a super volcano. And Martin thinks Oh, it's going to be occasionally. S- it's going <laughs> to be something to do with the communists. <laughs> yeah, communists. There we go. That's it. We'll leave that there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's not delve into that one. <laughs> oh, so aliens and super volcanoes, but you know, yeah. Neither of those are political. Communism I, is. I find that this year, like 
every month, like you're saying, is something new. This year is kind of like a an advent calendar, but the chocolate's been taken out and replaced with a murder hornet. <laughs> something that people just didn't want. I've I know what it's going to be. And in December. Oh, you know when you get the double doors yeah, on, yeah. A, on an advent calendar? With the big chocolate. It's going to be th- the asteroid. It's going to be a pop-up book. You'll <laughs> open them little doors and this rock will hit you in the face. <laughs> or the beak of a heron. We got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, death by heron. <laughs> that fucking heron. No, we're going... Do you know how we've been having like really unusual hot weather recently? Oh, boy. Yeah, go on. In the summer, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You realise we live in England? <laughs> yes, yeah, I yeah. had noticed some. For the past few years, we have been having quite hot summers. I reckon it's just going to keep on getting hot, and the world's going to go <laughs> like a little ah Mad global Max. warming. Then. Yeah, so we're gonna... <gasps> my coop can be yeah. the interceptor. It just rattles a bit <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah. The interceptor. Yeah, you know my, I've not seen on my t shirt. Oh, it's a muscle car. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'll... It's, it's not just a muscle car. <laughs> just a... <laughs> Carry on, mate. Yeah. Well, that, that's it. We're just the world's just going to keep on getting hotter and hotter till we turn to like, and eventually the world's it's not going to like explode or implode. It's just going to go out like a giant. Just like, going to get dusty. Like, like a popcorn. It's going to go. <laughs> See, <laughs> what you'll find is that as the world becomes like dustier and dustier, like in an apocalyptic kind of thing. Well, in, in the Mad Max sense, not the Fallout sense. Um, like it's been on the news today that like like Brighton Beach was just rammed with thousands and thousands of tourists mm. if anything the apocalypse is quite a good thing because it just means more beach more people can socially distance <laughs> yeah. so even when everyone's dying from the heat still not catching the coronavirus not, they're not getting the Rona. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Sorry. They're not catching the Rona with their limes. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I won't. I can rant for hours on that one. I'm so proud of you, Martin. <laughs> I'm so proud of you because oh. your Facebook is something. <laughs> It's it's I'm 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 <laughs> I'm genuinely everyone's like oh you can't compare it to the flu no you can't because so far the flu kills more people and that, there we go that's that's my that's where I'm going to leave that's my political it's yeah. not even political is it I'm not biting I'm not biting yeah we won't no <laughs> um, so yeah so we all think that something else shit is going to happen in August around my birthday. Well, if I have anything better, I'm going to make my millions with, like, tinfoil hats and shit on eBay. Tinfoil <laughs> hat. Oh, darn. I've got, like, a proper tinfoil hat-wearing customer. I've not seen him in one, but he is, like, an anti-vacker. Oh. oh. He's, he's one of these that I've been reading. Probably that, that Alex Jones is probably, like, right up his chuff. It makes the frogs gay. And oh, he's... Man. You like Alex Jones, though, don't you? Oh, I don't. no. No. <laughs> No, I, I don't. I don't even watch the guy. I find I find the guy hilariously entertaining because oh, he's, he's entertaining because I, I like reasons. most people with a brain cell don't actually take him seriously. <laughs> but no, he was uh, he was saying like, oh, I, like they put this. I, like I've been watching all these things on uh, YouTube. I know what they're doing, and they're put. It's probably chemtrails. It's probably all about chemtrails. But it was like, oh, this is this. Was, been put in the flu jabs and yeah. it's thinning out the herd. 5G caused the corona. So don't get, oh like, God. just don't vaccinate because, you know, they, they, they're putting anything into you. And he's, he's one of them. And I'm like, he used to be, well, he, he is still a nice man. He's like some just farmer guy. And, <laughs> like, he used, he used to be, like, really pleasant. He'll come in, he'll get his chicken food, he'll get some flapjack. And it all changed and... when he got his flu jab. <laughs> and then, as as we've all become, like, friendly with him, because he'd been coming in for years, someone's opened his holy Flat shit gates. doors, and this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> the filter is dropped. <laughs> and it's like, oh no. So I have to do, like, the Ron Swanson thing, where I have to, like, call him by the wrong name or something so because he's getting too chummy <laughs> so like if you call him by the wrong name shows he doesn't care <laughs> shame you don't care about him mm. so it's like mm, i'm gonna have to well, do something it. like that i like i like crazy people like that not 
specifically. Oh, be- I'll, I'll hook you up. Yeah, not not but not can have a field day. But not specifically because I actually like believe the stuff they're saying. I just find it so entertaining. But I also find other people's overreaction to them even more entertaining. Because they're like, oh, this you can't be saying that, and it's like everyone knows it's bullshit. You're the only one taking it seriously, and I find that sort of level of fear to entertaining. It's just like, he probably lives in an airstream caravan. Oh god, <laughs> watching them UFOs come in. On a similar subject, talking about tinfoil hats, I once tried to make a tinfoil tricorn hat once, or tricorn. Tri- you wanted to try pirate hats, one of them. All right. And um, so you, so you can like block it up the government's radio waves. Well, look cool while doing well, it. I want I'm gonna stop. make a Stetson. Well, I, I I I tried doing that, but I ended up making a tinfoil trilby for a party once. Trilby was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was You're getting it, there. You were. It was. It was it. pretty pretty cool. And I can't even remember what the theme of the party was. So I just made a tinfoil. Was it trilby. like Peaky Blinders or something? <laughs> <laughs> you have a tinfoil flat cap Tin- and a razor blade in the front of it. Oh god, yeah. But that's what we should do. We should do like. Yeah, peak foilers or something like that. Peaky foilers. Yeah, that sh- that <laughs> should be our um, our like group costume for sci No, no, I still want to do uh, a red dead ish western kind of vibe, and we all have hobby horses. I, I thought, thought I, I thought, thought, thought we, we were going as like Resident Evil yeah. characters, but we're all dressing in drag. Yeah, yeah but I thought we were there all was going to girls of Resident Evil. There was something. <laughs> yeah. No. Maybe we could. We do have like, so many ideas. We could do. have like one co- one one costume for one day and one for the next. Yeah, but some days are always quieter, aren't they? Mm. Probably aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> but without uh, us there, well, yeah, doing this. Well, that's yeah. probably what you need. You, well, you need to have two costumes. So you've got like your your fancy complicated costume, and you've got your more casual, easy to wear costume. Your casual girl of Resident Evil costume. Yeah. I would I would <laughs> say my like casual Jill. A Martin full cowboy guy. outfit and a hobby horse is going to be a little bit more hard want, to wear than like a cocktail dress. You wanted to do Ada Wong though, didn't you? you As in dress. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to like just like. Yeah, but I'll you say don't, Asian don't. or whatever you call it. <laughs> You wanted me to be that Ashley, whatever her name is. Yeah, because you'll have to like keep... Tank top and miniskirt. You'll have to keep screaming and hiding on the tables. <laughs> and we, we all have to carry a typewriter around and it, save our games. Yeah. Once we found the ink ribbons. Mm. Hmm. Who were you going to go as? I was, I was going to be Jill. Oh. But not boob tube, Jill. The original police uniform, Jill. Yeah, classic, because that's what got me into so basically evil the in least, the first place. The less uh, feminine one of the lot. You, you know, you're uh, in a cocktail dress. I'm in a tank top and miniskirt, and he gets to dress up like a police officer. You chose these characters. I did not. I had mine forced upon me. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know who she was, and I had to look her up. Well, so have far- you played any of the Resident Evil? Yes, I played the remake of Resi 2 and the original of Resi 2 as well. Uh, well I, think, I, I, I think Claire Redfield would be better, to be honest. I think out of all the people in You can't scene, be Chris because you'd have to punch a massive boulder, which is just <laughs> the most ridiculous <laughs> just... thing that ever happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mash B to punch boulder. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, I played that one, Resi 5. Yeah, I played that one, and that bit came, and I just thought... Yeah, because me and Sharon I'm this close to the up. end, but... Hot damn! Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know they've run out of ideas when that happens. Right, my turn then. But do you remember? <laughs> Sorry, do you remember Chris Redfield in like the first Resident Evil? He wasn't an overly muscular man. Yeah. He had like a uh, just like well, a isn't, short. Isn't the muscular thing supposed to be hair. the overtime transition? Yeah, but, like, who has time to get that jacked in a zombie apocalypse? Bench press zombies. <laughs> but, yeah. Like um, I got, ranch them. I got yeah. national holiday, so I'll spin again. Spin again. What are you playing? We've done that one. We've done we, that yeah? one. Just pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. We haven't done that one. That's another story. Oh, I'm going to need a light for the. Ooh. Oh, oh gee, put the fire. See, this is what on. I'm taking camping with us. That's awesome. Put the fiery effect on. Come on, do it properly. Probably not going to be able to read it. That's yeah. better. Yeah. Junk in the trunk. Ah, oh, this is a. You're going to love this as well. Oh. I'm sure you'll love it. As well, well, as soon as you say that, I know it's going to get the blood so pressure I, up. I generally pick all these stories for you. Oh, thank you. I feel no, so this, is gonna, this is going to get your blood up. 
but in a different place, my friend. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, a strip club. Oh, okay. On. In Portland, Oregon, America, mm. when you li- when you move there, uh, called the Lucky Devil, mm. uh, now has a drive-through strip club. I have heard of this. Yes. <laughs> so what happens is. They do take away food as well. So you order your food. <laughs> of course they do. You drive through the car park, that which, are, which they've done up for cars to be able to drive through. And while you wait for your food, you can watch the strippers who are all wearing masks. For the corona. For the, for the corona. And um, they have the temperatures taken every day and everything is sanitised. But you get to watch them. From a so, distance, and there's like. Ooh, I've buckets. lost my thermometer. I wonder where it's gone. <laughs> I shall bend over to find it. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you get a show while you wait for your food. Nice. Uh, and it's all, it's all above board and, and safe. For Ser- seriously, if if any of you say you wouldn't go there, I know you're lying. No, I totally go there. Yeah. I've only well, ever been to a again. Show. What is it that Ron Swanson says? He says that it doesn't matter. Where you go, he doesn't care for strip clubs, but he will go anywhere that serves breakfast food, <laughs> even if it's in a strip club. Yeah, fair enough. So you yeah, know, if the food's good, buffet. I'm gonna watch something. Like when we went to get our our pizza from the branded place, mm. and I was stood outside. Yeah, waiting, not at all looking dodgy. Am I waiting for them to finish? I've got a brilliant I photograph would, of that actually. Did you? Yeah. I would rather be watching a stripper while I'm waiting for my pizza than watching drunk people walk up and down the street. Mm. Mm. I, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's a clever idea. I do. It I is. Do, it, I do it's, sort very, of, it's very good. I, I appreciate the sort of the, you know, the, the cleverness of the, you know, keeping everyone employed, you know, keeping everyone's spirits yeah. up, keeping something else up as well. But, um, yeah, no, that would be that would be that would be pretty cool. So that's um, yeah, but it's in Portland. Portland's just gone gone to shit, though, hasn't it? But stripper food. Yeah, stripper food. There we go. <laughs> Which is what Hannibal Lecter would say. He said, <laughs> "It's meat that strips itself." <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh, that would was... you, would you, Jamie? Would you partake in a? Oh, of course I would. In a stripper takeaway? Yeah. I've only ever been to a strip club once, but hell yeah, I'd I've work, not yeah. been to one once. Not even when it was. What is it? You've never been to a strip club. I've been no. to one several times. I've, you I've... also went to a gay bar. Yes. With your friend dressed as a chicken. N- no, 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 no. That was the day after. I went to. Oh, gay... sorry. I went to a gay bar dressed as a priest with a man dressed up like Jesus. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. And it was. Just, it was the most hilarious. And you always keep trying thing. to convince us to go with you. Do you know the the best thing about that is that the the gay bar was probably the least gayest thing that happened that weekend. <laughs> I'll say the gayest thing was on like the last night. It was so hot because we were staying on a canal boat, and you got to think there was like I think there was nine of us on this canal boat, and the last night it was so ridiculously you get nine people on a canal on a barge with great difficulty. <laughs> I bet there was some spooning involved, but um, <laughs> on on the last night it was so hot that one of the guys just literally in his pants just opened the back hatch and just crawled out and just passed out. And then when we woke up, there was like people walking past, and it literally looked like this man in his pants had just passed out whilst trying to escape from this sweaty <laughs> man dungeon. <laughs> and it was yeah. I feel sorry for the cleaners that had to go in after you guys. Well, th- the best the best bit about the gay bar was we went to a a, a pub. It was like the second pub of the day at about ten o'clock in the morning. And whilst we were all sat there just t- trying to figure out, you know, what we're going to do, does this does this dude sort of couple of tables up? This was outside with his missus. She goes into the bar and it's he's like so suspicious. He's like looking, see, she's looking and sort of like casually walks over to us like. You, you, you lads on a stag do. He's like, yeah, pretty much. He goes, you, you want to go, go up there to this spot. It's like a couple of, couple of locks down, and that. And he's like, and then you sort of wanders off to his missus. Going, oh, I'm coming, honey. And that was like, yeah, he's got some kind of dark secret that she doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that was. Um, did he was he did he wink and go? I'll see you there. Well, the the best bit was whilst we were in there. Was he there? N- no, whilst uh, whilst we we're in there, there was these two dudes. And that, Never. There was, there was many, right, there's these two dudes sat together that me and some of the other guys got got chatting to. One of them sort of like 
never been to a gay bar before or anything like that. I never interacted with a gay person or anything. He sort of goes up to me and says, if, if, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you two sort of like been together? Or something like that, however he'd worded it. And one of them starts getting like really offended. And that and his mate just turns around and he says, look, look, calm down. Two dudes sat alone in a gay bar. What else are they going to think? And it turned out that they were there planning one of the dude's stag do's. One of their stag do's. But the even better bit was the next morning after that, we, we were sort of, again, hung over on the boat, just waiting, and he walked past with his missus. And, that, and he's like, oh, how are you doing? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew him from, like, in, in town the other night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, was it American Pie 3 or something? Where oh, it definitely goes into the gay bar. Yeah. But, and he outdances yeah, the gay he's, he's like at school, oh. He's at college the next day, and he gets a letter that the principal of the gym read, and it says, I'm, I want you to teach me to dance like you did in the gay bar. <laughs> Dude, but yeah. so you you went to a gay bar and the only two blokes you spoke to turned out to no, not the only two blokes. So they were all like the straightest people. Everyone was just straight. Oh well, no. The, one one of one of the guys who was with us, he like the way he described himself is he says he says he's he's bisexual, but he says he's like a lamp post. He's straight all the way up with a little bend just at the end. <laughs> And it was, it's just so funny when you go in there. It was just like, you know, someone like pulled the pin out of the grenade and rolled it in. He's like, woohoo! We had to, we had to sort of like send missions deeper into the. I'm not, do you know how you get like that stereotypical sweaty, topless dude pumping techno sort of gayness, old school gayness? We genuinely sort of go in and there was a room that was just that. And I was like, I cannot go in that room. It's, absolutely terrifying <laughs> was and it that. like in the Simpsons where they went to like the steel factory yeah the gay and steel the went. <laughs> <laughs> but oh it was no, it was it was a brilliant night and they had some properly they had one drunk dude trying to come up to us and do like a full on confession or something like that because we were in like, you were a priest like priest outfits yeah it Jesus. was I, I genuinely recommend it we all need to get on a canal boat and go to a gay bar together it's, it's the way to go yeah but it's, it's you really... said yourself they're expensive well Oh, the canal boats, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Falling at the first hurdle. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's the way to go. And then when you realise that, like, an entire three days' worth of canal boat, when we get back to the car... we just get, like, a, a small pleasure yacht or something. Well, whatever boat, it's just... A river yacht. I think, we, we, I think we only travelled something like four miles up, up the canal and then back again. Because <laughs> when we went back and got in the cars, we sort of drove off, and literally five minutes later, we saw... The furthest part we'd gone to, and wow, that we like went that. all out. Yeah, that was that was absolutely brilliant. You keep clock watching. Are you against the clock? No, it's, um, connected to my phone, so whenever I get a message, oh, it vibrates. Right. So I'm just right. checking; it's nothing important. Well, at least I think he's, he's, he's uncomfortable no, I'm not with clock- all this talk about massive, enormous gay clubs. <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me at all. I've got time for another one. Oh, we've been. Which ones haven't we done? Um, key worker at the bottom. That one picked my interest. We haven't done that yet. Key worker. It's not what you're thinking it is. Is it someone who works at like Timpsons or something like that? No, it was some. It's oh, a Jesus! Key... Have you just dropped one? No, but That's I thought not you me. had. No. Oh. What the hell? Thank God that doesn't translate onto a microphone. <laughs> Probably someone in the alley. Oh, that's 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 quality. <laughs> um, Ooh. <laughs> a guy in America had burgled someone ha- someone's house in the dead of night and then was arrested when he went back to pick his car keys up because he left them there. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and during America. the night, someone got up, realised that they'd been burgled, called the police, and then this guy turned up to pick up his car keys. <laughs> Only like, oh, in well, while you're here, oh, that's... put these on. Did did you ever see that video uh, that circulated Facebook of this Scottish guy had been to a house party and he'd gone back to the wrong house and he'd no. woken up on this oh, sofa? This is a video, isn't it? Yeah. Because he videoed it. But they, they just all found it hilarious. They were making him like a bacon sandwich and saying, yeah, oh, you're all right, like, mate. Just... The homeowners were really nice. <laughs> no, I've not seen this one. <sighs> and you'll, it... you'll have to link it to me or something later yeah. on. It's so funny because he's just laughing. He's just like he knows he's just so dodgy, but they just they can just see the funny side of it. It's brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. So just to round everything up, uh, what did we have left? Uh, junk in the trunk. We did that one. Yeah. 
there's an AFC, uh, a guy in Carlisle was denied access to the KFC drive through because he had a horse and cart. Yeah. <laughs> which which is bad because it's like already one horsepower. So it's, <laughs> it's technically a vehicle. But well, no, they told him to leave for health and safety reasons. Well, it's funny you oh. should say that. When um, Sharon used to work at McDonald's, you know, in um, around this time every year, we would get the um, travellers coming to Scarborough for the the, the Irish travellers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we we prefer we prefer to use another name for them, with, beginning with G. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, apparently they would constantly try and take their horse and carts through the drive. Oh, I can imagine. And they'd get told, "No, it has to be a motor vehicle." But really? Why? What possible difference does it make? Health and safety, I guess. I don't yeah, know. I know, but it doesn't make. I was told you can't go through a you can't go through on a motorbike because you can't safely handle your food. Ow. You can do that on a horse and cart. But if the horse gets spooked, it could cause damage. Whereas cars don't get spooked. You can hold the microphone if you need to. Sorry, <laughs> just don't lick it. <laughs> but no, I, I think we no, should... I think I think horses should be allowed. Yeah, it's just yeah. That that that's one of the one of the things. You can't do just... it on, on motorbikes. Can I go around on a quad bike? What well, would I get served? I, mean, yeah, that, I don't know actually. Because I can safely handle a drink. It's got four wheels. We mm. should we should do that when we're all rich enough to afford multiple different classes of vehicles. We should just <laughs> try see how ridiculous we can do to get through. Who's going on the ostrich? <laughs> uh, oh. Compromise. I'll go on the chocobo. I don't know what. Martin knows. They're, they're, they're not real, Jamie. I wish they were. If there was some kind of scientific research into making them real, I would pour all my pennies into it. What All you pennies? have to do is get an ostrich and dye it yellow. There's more to it than that. All right, give it a beak. And breed it's it an a... ostrich, it's got a, a beak. A, a proper one. <laughs> uh, a chocobo is basically what happens if you crossbred a chicken with an ostrich and then gave it the temperament of a horse. Yeah, so it's, giant, it's, 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 it's a, a big, it's a big yellow game. ostrich, is what it is. They're basically giant yellow chickens with ostrich proportions, and uh, in Final Fantasy, people ride them like horses. Oh. Again with your Final Fantasies. Chocobos are awesome. Yeah, whatever. Um, key worker, we did. What you watching, we did. Mars attacks, we did. What's that? National holiday. Hammer time. Oh, we've cleared the board, have we? Yeah. Jamie think we've done a Jamie thing. Kiwi. Uh, yeah. That's a chocobo. Yeah. It's an ostrich that's yellow. It's a giant yellow chicken. Well, if you get that, he gets a torn torn. He can have a torn torn. <laughs> oh man, that would be amazing to race a chocobo in a torn torn. All you'd have to do is go into some cold weather and you'd win. What? On a torn torn. Yeah. yeah. Even though it died. In well, the yeah, cold. eventually. It's not good yeah, thing, is it? Yeah, but Chocobos haven't shown any aversion to cold weather. They've not had that happen. They've never been on the ice planet half, have they? Do you see many chickens in Antarctica? There you go. Do you see many whatever a tauntaun is based on in Antarctica? Do you see any Chocobos anywhere? <laughs> Do you see any tauntauns anywhere? Yes. I've got video evidence of one at home. And I've oh, got video go. game evidence is of it, Chocobos. Is it the same as, like, a... The Loch Ness monster sightings, or <laughs> no? I've, I've I've met Nessie. I've had a barbecue with it. Did you? Yeah. Was that after we'd been to the Glengoy Distillery and you'd had a skin full? <laughs> well, it's entirely possible because I remember going to the distillery and I remember turning up at the chalet where we were staying, but, but I don't, don't re- remember the shop. I don't really between. remember the bits in between. <laughs> so oh. it's entirely possible at some point the Loch Ness monster may have been involved. So yeah, okay. that was so funny. It um, was. Anything that you want to wrap up with? Anything that you wrapping need to say? Wrapping usually good. It is. The only wrapping paper I've got is um, Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> so throughout yeah. the year, people for birthday presents have just been getting like Santas and snowflakes and things on. I don't think what? I've ever had a birthday present off you. Well, it's <laughs> Do you know what I best. really want? <laughs> for that's the point, on, on, on Martin things, I haven't had a birthday this year. My birthday was on the 31st. You oh, have gosh. had a birthday. Well, yes, technically my birthday. I am now older than I was. You were always older than you were. But as, as far as as far as the birthday event has, has happened, yeah, because that um, was like peak lockdown, so we yeah. couldn't like do anything. We I weren't even allowed to go this year either. Yeah, neither have I. Mine's because it's November, not been though. there yet. Yeah, no, <laughs> mine neither. 
Yeah, well, that, that's that's me. I think when 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 this is sort of all, <clears throat> me, all sorted. Well, we can't have a joint birthday because then we'd have to wait for him over there <laughs> in the middle of bloody November. Well, we can just ignore it. Back end we? of November. The back side. Well, well of my November. my birthday's already happened, so when anyone wants to tag along and sort of like say, "Oh, it's my birthday and all," well, that's cool. We'll have like a, a mass birthday thing. What I want to do is, as soon as it's announced, I want to get just a massive group of blokes, not a gay bar this time, <laughs> and just go down to cinema and just watch Black Widow. Uh. Yeah, that's that's still a, a WhatsApp group, isn't it, for you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not part of this is WhatsApp it, group. Yeah, I'm it? sure you are, aren't you? Do I even have you on? Do you have WhatsApp? Of course I do. What? I don't know. I talk to you on Facebook. He's that. tech savvy. He probably does dodgy TikTok videos. No, I really don't. <laughs> like all these other key workers seem to be doing. No. No. Oh, no, 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 no. He's there with all the elderly. Yeah. Like doing robotic dancing no. as he tries to copy what the, the person on the, from the little box no. is doing. Do you know what you need to do? Do you know how old, old people have electric wheelchairs? Hook up like a little... None of ours have electric wheelchairs. Oh, so you can't even erase Get them electric wheelchairs. and then You get... can have a Deadpool. Yeah, then get like an... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 that's bad. The, that's bad. Like, it's the CD gambling world of old, old people's home. Then... If all the old people, oh, this is great! If all the old people's homes right now had one, it could be like a Formula One of old people, and they go around. And then the winner from each home, yes. all together in one final race. It'll be like a World Cup kind of thing. <laughs> oh, in good football. lord! And they all have their, their <laughs> adapted mobility scooters and go around Oliver's <laughs> Mount. There was <laughs> well, like full rally tracks. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, Oliver's Mount isn't a rally track. No, but I know what you mean. Back before I moved out of my parents' house and moved over to Scarborough and I was back still in first, there was this old woman who we used to call Schumacher because she, <laughs> genu- she had like a mobility scooter, but she always drove around with like a bright red like motorbike racing helmet on. Mm. Nice. So we all just called her Schumacher all the time. It's brilliant. So, yeah, old people racing, that's what we need to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've thought of something I want to wrap up with. Something I'd forgot You're to mention. You're not going to actually wrap it, yeah? No, like no. Some oh, God, no. Thing. no, 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 no. Going back to the what you're watching bit, something I meant to say that I forgot about, um, talking about the Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, watching an episode last night, and um, it had a pretty emotional ending. One of the clones who had worked really Did hard to... Exp- war? <sighs> who had worked hard to expose a uh, conspiracy. Oh. He was shot in self-defense by one of his brothers. And he had quite an emotional passing. And my five-year-old little boy, who I didn't think would understand what any of that meant, just suddenly flung himself at me, proper bawling his eyes out. He's like, oh. What was the last film you cried at? Last film I cried at? Yeah. Oh, f- God, going back. I knew Martin. Was it like The Little Mermaid? It wasn't uh, a film. It might, no, no, tell like it was. I think it was made into a film. Yeah, it doesn't have to make you properly bald, but something that like made you well up a little bit. The it, I it believe was actually, possibly the Lion King when Mufasa died. Oh god! When I was oh, younger, I had to fast forward past that. I bit. was seven years I old, so I saw that in the cinema when it came out. So did I. The last yeah. the last thing that choked me up was that short film of the dude. In like the zombie apocalypse with like his, his little yes, baby, yeah, and then he that ends up, up well. he ends up with her on like a little papoose at the back, and then he ends up getting shot, and then they just find the child of note saying, "Hi, my name's." Please Batman. take care of me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's and then they realise what he had been doing. I'm like, that's bad. But they, yeah, they made that into like a full on film, didn't they? With, with starring um, Martin Freeman. Yeah, oh, I thought that's the film you were actually on about. Right? No, well, it was it, it was is, the short that that the film short. was was yeah. based on. Yeah, right. It started life as the short film, yeah. but then. It, they made it a progressed picture. into a I film. think it wasn't just what was happening as well. It was also the music that accompanied it that really set the tone. Well, the whole thing was just, it was just really sort of like, I thought, yeah, that's... Because that's, that's. the dude realises he's, he's been bitten. Yeah. And that's when he puts the daughter on the papoose and he's walking with her. And then, like, one of the last scenes you see he's walking with her and she makes a noise. You don't hear the noise she's making because all you can hear is this music. Mm. Yeah. But she, like, babbles. And then he suddenly stops and his head turns and you can see he's fully zombified. But he's got, like meat on a stick or something hasn't it yeah. to keep him going but because he can't quite see her because she's on his back he's just sort of looking around for a bit and then he just carries on shambling forwards yeah. and he, they, these um, this group see them and the sniper takes him out and realises the kid's still alive yeah. yeah have you seen The Road before 
Yes. Oh, I can't say I've heard of that one. The bleakest film in the world. And then you just realise that the whole film could have been avoided because they were following them the whole time. Not that they spoiled the ending, but... Well, yeah. we already put a spoiler warning out yeah. earlier on, didn't we? But yeah, it, as far as an apocalypse film goes, it is bleak. Yeah. Um, What's it called? The Road? The Road. Yeah. And it's just it's Viggo Mortensen and his son just well, oh, trying to name. survive. Who, who, who is he yeah. in other films? Aragon. Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and, yeah, uh, it's just them, um, like, trying to survive moving from one place to the other. Is and it on Netflix or Prime? I don't know. It'll I don't know. Somewhere. I've probably got on DVD. Uh, probably with the way that the world is going. It's probably going to be on there somewhere. <laughs> so I'll try and push it, like, as soon as... Um, Covid hit off films like Outbreak. And yeah, where they all just appear. Contagion. That and... Contagion's a good film. Oh, it, it, I went to the cinema to see it and was I found it Pine quite it? boring. No, the one with Lawrence Fishburne in it. I haven't seen that. And like, as soon as like Covid hit, um, Gwyneth Paltrow said something. I don't hold me to this, but she said something like, "Like I know how the virus will act because I was in Contagion," and it's like. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, she's already weird anyway with a, like, a weird vagina sense or whatever she does. Didn't she call one of her children an apple? Yeah, but she, <laughs> like, she, she does really weird things. And well, she was in the news would, a few, no, a few years ago. She, um, <laughs> didn't she, like, try to get sued or something because, like, one of these things she was trying to push in her store um was, was could actually be quite harmful to the to the human body it's something i think you you, you put in a, 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 a help me out here no in don't you don't you well. help me out but put something in a in a lady place I don't know, um, when you put some up the back some, passage, it's a suppository. Refer- I don't know what the female equivalent yeah. is. Well, it's that. Well, the, the, I think the back passage is a back passage regardless of yeah, whether it's no, a man I mean, or a woman. If something goes up a, um, the front of a woman, Look, I don't can know we it's just, still called a suppository. Can we just well, it's not, not a suppository, it's just a penis then. <laughs> point, isn't it? Maybe a strap-on. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be can inclusive. We, we have strap-ons. Can here. we just not... <laughs> Come on, it's been a couple of please, months since I've offended the lesbians. Please, can we, at least, <laughs> oh, God. can we just wait until I've turned this off before you start doing this? <laughs> he started it. <laughs> I did not. So the road, really bleak. Yeah, the road. Yeah. <laughs> it um, sounds it while we're chuckling yeah, away. And then, like, uh, he ends up dying and he's, he's just like, his, his son left there crying over his body kind of thing. It's like, wow. Well, uh, what was his son in the film? Yeah, early young. teens. Yeah. And well, well, if that, maybe but then, like then it, 12. The, but then in the end, it turns out this family find the son. And then just all. Then you realise all these like weird noises and stuff that they've heard along and bit. It's been them following them throughout the whole... Not always, because they did find a, uh, a house at some point, didn't they? And they had some people that had been uh, chained up that they were being used for food by groups... Because... Like groups of cannibals just like mm. go around trying to pick people up and uh. well that, but the thing the whole point is there's certain bits where they they said to me says they'd fallen they just didn't know if they were dodgy as well yeah and but, that, so yeah. it's just, real bleak real bleak yeah. are great there, film though are mm. there any video game moments that have choked you up yes yes when my I'm, faithful I'm horse Shia LaBeouf in Red Dead Redemption was killed. Oh, in Hovis for me. Hovis. Baker's born and bred. It was yeah. a thoroughbred. And then the following scene up on the mountain. The thing is, like, ever since you could first have that Raven Black Shire in Red Dead Redemption, you had it. You either could sell it or you could keep it. I, thought, and you I want it. the big black horse with the feathers on its feet. And I've had that for months, that horse, since almost the, the game came out. Mm-hmm. And the it bit just that... got shot in front of me. And I just wanted to find the, the presses button to shoot yourself, but I couldn't find it. But, but then what about on the mountain, Arthur's final scene? I was still choked up about my horse. Which you didn't see, did you? Because you played arsehole, Arthur. Oh, I went full on psychopath. Yeah, so you got really shot right, by right. Micah, didn't you? Uh, probably. When um, he says, oh, damn you, and Arthur replies, damn us both, and Micah shoots him in the face and walks off. 
Probably. It's been a yeah. while since I... No, the, um, the proper way that it's supposed to happen is a lot more emotional than that. Oh, fair enough. The bit that annoyed me, again, horse-related, was that I think I got, like, a new horse relatively close to the end of the thing, spent a load of time oh, so doing it, and then you just go into the thing and you lose it all. <laughs> so, yeah. I spent a lot, like, a Timberwolf pelt or something on the back of my horse that I never got around to selling because <laughs> I was too busy wrapping up all these final missions. Hmm. But no, I, I I did like playing that game as an absolute psycho. But was there any game that's ever had a moment that's choked you up before? <laughs> um, my horse, man. Yeah, we know you. Always comes back to my horse. Not that I can specifically think of. Would um, you kindly? Nah, that, I like that. that was, it's a good that twist. That was a real good twist. That, was a, was, yeah, but was that wouldn't it. choke you up, would no. it? I, I suppose just sort of going to be something mass effect in it i was, I was, yeah, I, I was going to say like the the end of mass effect not specifically the end of mass effect but when you realize that's it it's all gone now yeah and that you, you kind of get that sort of like you you got really invested and, and then it's just kind of over so i'm just like you just feel that sort of hollowness and then in mate andromeda you get excited and realize how shit it is and then play it again <laughs> well what have um, you beefed at me yeah same as you um Your horse. the Hold not just this. the horse but that entire final oh. bit like the horse, and then Arthur's death over the uh, on the mountain. Right. So yeah. Um, oh, what's that? Oh yeah. Talking Mass Effect. There's um, a YouTube channel I watch where these people who they play multiple games and basically they just dick about and annoy each other. But they were actually so being, like us online. Yeah, though, like yeah. us. <laughs> but not, but a bit more dicking about. They um, they were actually having a Have series. Have they met him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to steal our ship. Yeah, that's a very Jake move. <laughs> but no, they, they were actually having a serious discussion saying what what moment would they relive again for the first time if they could have their mind erased and do it again for the first time. And now two of these two these um four people are actually married. The bloke and girlfriend are married to each other. And he says, Well, Kath is really gonna hate me for not saying our wedding, but um playing Mass Effect trilogy. And you just hear this audible gasp, it's like, Oh shit, I'm in trouble. Mm. Well no, the, the, it was I mean, I can honestly say it is the only game like the first Mass Effect game is the only game I've ever played where I've got I've just played it over and over. I've literally, I've got to the end, completed it, and then immediately, I've not even let the credits finish, reset and start again. Mm. Just I think about, I think three or four times in a row continuously is the most wow. time. I've even done it to the point where when I was, when I was done it all in the end, I was doing achievement hunting, I'd got to the end, I got the very last achievement about maybe about 20 minutes worth of gameplay from the end of the game, then just reset the game and start it again. Mm. And that, because it's, I could, I could. There's a point where I could just play it all over and over again. Yeah, and, that, and that's, that's that's some good. That good was my stuff. stomach. Jesus. <laughs> right. Well, I think we're gonna call it there. Mm. Uh, so, mind, do you want to say your farewell? Goodbye, people. Okay. Have a nice time. Jamie. See you later. And I'll see you from me. Thanks again. Oh, I was gonna do the a poo voice, then, but I'm not gonna. Oh come on! We need some kind of no. This, this, this is the wrong kind of time for this. The world's already on the brink. Yeah, maybe wait till all this is over. Tip so, it over the edge. Come thank on. you. Right. Come again. <laughs> <laughs>